Basically, I'm a steel fabricator by trade. I uh, started serving my time in 1980 in the local training centre in Uri, steel fabrication and sheet metal work. Um, went on to a local firm then to finish my apprenticeship, done another four years with them. But I always was fascinated by the blacksmithing, but there was no one around at the time to show us that all the blacksmiths had basically died out. So I basically thought myself, through books and videos and stuff that I got sent over from England, over a period of, I don't know, 20 odd years, learned myself to trade a blacksmithing. We had to go on with um, bespoke ironwork, um, stair ballastating, large gates and railings, one off bespoke items, um, even pieces for kitchens, bathrooms, things out of the ordinary that can't be mass produced, we'd have to go up, you know. Our main clients is probably interior designers, um, private house owners that are building large houses, looking for something bespoke made for their house, either a staircase or an element in the hallway or whatever. Well, blacksmithing has made a strong comeback over the past 15, 20 years um, and getting better all the time, um, especially in England and the continent and America. And we're slowly but surely catching up. We're a bit behind the times here. But we are catching up and a lot of people getting interested in blacksmithing. Well, over the years I've put a lot of people through here. Uh, at the moment we I have uh, three full-time workers, one part-time in the office. Um, it's the type of work that you can't really mass produce. You can't have hundreds of people working for you because they're one-off bespoke items and it's a hand-on skill, you know. I have to be there to oversee it all. Well, the most basic skill has been good at art. It's a big help. Uh, next to that, it's probably been good with maths. A lot of maths involved. Wouldn't think that, but there is. Uh, and been generally good with your hands is a good starting point, you know. Uh, probably one of the most difficult ones is uh, replicating ironwork that was done in 1870 odd uh, for a project in Belfast. It had to match in exactly with existing metalwork. Very, very difficult to get it right and to get the the decent blacksmithing that they used, but they used all them same skills, and thankfully it worked out grand in the end, you know. Basic blacksmithing hasn't changed an awful lot. You still need fire to heat the metal to a certain temperature so that it can be worked easily over the anvil. But the biggest progress we've made over the years is the use of machinery in blacksmithing. Without this machinery we couldn't be able to produce some of the items that we do produce, or work with some of the heavy sections that we work with. So we've moved from hand tools, we still do a certain amount of hand work, but we've moved into mechanic and power hammers, which take a lot of the hard work out of the job. And uh, leaves us that we can take on a lot bigger projects and get them out the door faster. So that's the, probably the biggest advantage. And it also means that anyone can really have a go at blacksmithing now. We've a lot of ladies getting involved in blacksmithing in the finer end of it, and it's good to see that. If you're refurbishing an old ironwork, it must be done in a traditional way. There's no other way of doing it. You can't take a welder to old wrought iron, it just will it'll stick out a mail that, that hasn't been done properly, you know. So it must be done in the forge. New pieces must be made in the forge to put onto old ironwork. And it's worthwhile seeking someone, a blacksmith, who's capable of doing these things and getting it done properly. I see a great future for this type of work, uh, especially we're venturing into different areas now that we weren't in before. The kitchen design, bathroom design. Um, you know, people are building these massive houses I think not in spending 40 grand on a kitchen. Why not spend 20 grand in your hallway? A nice bespoke staircase, which is going to last you a lifetime, you know? So that's worth trying to encourage.